Chapter 4, Lesson 1, Subtracting Fractions. When we subtract fractions, we follow the same steps that we do to add the fractions, but instead of adding at the end, we simply subtract. Here's our problem. 12 fifteenths minus 3 fifths. We need to figure out what that is. First, we need to identify our two denominators. Our two denominators are 15 and 5. Next, we need to find the LCM of 15 and 5. Remember, LCM stands for least common multiple. List the multiples of 5. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20. Now at this step, you might already be able to identify what the LCM of 5 and 15 are. Some of you have not been able to identify it yet, so we are going to go ahead and do the next step. List the multiples of 15. 15 times 1 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, 15 times 3 is 45, and 15 times 4 equals 60. Now, this is where you need to identify the least common multiple that 5 and 15 share. They share the number 15. I know that might confuse you because 15 is already a denominator. So you have to multiply your fractions so that they have denominators of 15. If your fraction already has a denominator of 15, you do not have to change it. So if we have 12 fifteenths, we don't really need to change it. It's the same as 12 fifteenths. But 3 fifths, we do have to change. So 3 fifths, we have to look at the denominator is going to be equal, it's going to have to be equal to 15. So if we look, 5 times some number is going to equal 15. Now if you look at your list of multiples, and you, you can see 5 times 3 is 15. But whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 fifths is equivalent to 9 fifteenths. Again, we're not trying to change the value of the fraction. We want them to be equal, we just need our denominators to be 15. So now we're going to rewrite our problem. 12 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths. Remember, when you add or subtract fractions, your denominator stays the same. So in this case, our denominator is going to stay 15. Now we just simply need to do 12 minus 9 which you probably already know is 3. But we're not done. Some of you are probably like, oh yes, I am done with my math. No, 3 and 15 can both be reduced. Now we need to simplify our answer into the most reduced fraction we can. 3 and 15 can both be divided by some number and reduce it down more. In order to figure out what this number is, you need to find the GCF of 3 and 15, or the greatest common factor. The factors of 3 are 1 and 3, and the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. We see that they both share 1 and 3, so the greatest common factor is 3. So our next step is to divide the fraction by 3. So we're going to rewrite our fraction and we're going to write our problem. 3 fifteenths divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1 and 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So our final answer is going to be 1 fifth. So 12 fifteenths minus 3 fifths is equal to 1 fifth. 